Hi, I'm Kristen L, or just Kristen. Welcome to my channel. I talk about science fiction and fantasy books and the awards that go with them. And this is the second round of, is this a TBR? Wherein I basically just read you my holds page from my library because I don't really like doing TBRs. They are, I don't know, just guilt machines because I'm very much a mood reader and so I don't want to force myself to feel like I need to read a book if I'm not in the mood for it. And I also don't want to pressure myself to like finish a book by a certain time so that I can get to another book that just, it feels too stressful for me. So anyways, what I can do is tell you what I have on hold from the library because chances are I'm going to read those ones. So it's basically a TBR. If you have followed my channel at all, you know that I'm an audiobook person. I, I kind of have a hard time eye reading, um, finding the space and the time and the attention and energy. Um, it's just more difficult, I find, for eye reading than for audiobook reading. And that is relevant because I have a lot of books that I'm trying to eye read right now. So I'm struggling. I um, am going to start my TBR by explaining what is waiting in my Kindle for me that I have borrowed from the library, so I do need to read them. But I haven't even started them yet. First of all, we have Sorrowland by River Solomon, which I am super excited to get to this one. I just feel like I need to finish Firebreak by Nicole Corner Stace first because that is also in my Kindle and it's also from the library and I also need to finish it. So once I finish that, I'm going to move on to Sorrowland. And once I finish that, I'm going to move on to Blackwater Sister by Zen Cho, which is also in my Kindle from the library. Very excited about all of these books, just... Kristen has a hard time eye reading. Here's another one. I just today got from the library an ebook called The Seventh Perfection by Daniel Polanski. And this would have been eligible for awards for this year, but it did not get nominated for any that I'm aware of. But um, one of my Goodreads groups, Hot Off Presses or SF, I don't remember exactly. I'll, I'll link it below. It's a fun group, but we read all stuff that's like brand new, just came out. And we decided this month to read four novellas instead of our usual two novels. So this is one of them. And I'm not sure exactly why we're reading one that came out last year instead of this year, but I guess we're kind of in that middle gray area where we're not sure if we should give up on last year's books and just focus on this year. So it's like a little bit of a mix. Anyways, I've heard it's really good. And I have been so disappointed with the novella shortlist for this year. I would not be surprised if this is yet another novella that should have been on those lists that wasn't. So I don't know if I'm going to actually get around to reading this one. It's probably my lowest priority at this point, but novellas are short, so maybe I can fit it in. Let's go look at my actual holds page now. We'll start at the bottom because those are the ones that have been there the longest. So the first one I have on here is The Memory Theater by Karen Tedbeck. And this will be eligible for awards next year. It just came out not too long ago. And I don't know if this is translated or not. Maybe I should look that up, actually. I just read Amatka, also by Karen Tidbeck, and it was originally published in Swedish, and then the author actually translated it herself into English. And I really enjoyed that, so I'm really looking forward to reading this one. I, uh, some of my Goodreads friends have been saying that it's really good. Okay, from what I can tell, it looks like this one was actually just written in English originally, so it's not a translated book. I don't like to read blurbs, but the first sentence of the blurb says, in a world just parallel to ours exists a mystical realm known only as the gardens, and I don't need to read anymore. That sounds awesome. Sign me up. I am really looking forward to reading this one. Um, unfortunately, this is also an ebook, so ooh, we're, we're really piling on the ebooks right now. Um, this one actually already arrived and I had to say I'm just not ready for it. So it says it's going to be delivered after July 10th. I don't know when I'm going to get to it. But this is a book of the month in the same um, Goodreads group I just mentioned. So I'll link it below if you want to join us. It's a super fun group. I don't think everyone, but a lot of the people in that group are also Hugo voters. So it's kind of, it's fun for that reason too. I think those are the people that are responsible for making me really interested and excited about the awards. So thank you guys. The next book that I have in my holds list is A Psalm for the Wild Built by Becky Chambers. And thank goodness this one is an audiobook. <laughs> and it's not released yet. I actually, you can put books on hold in the library before they're even released. You can just get on the wait list for like when they do arrive. So it's gonna be here sometime after July 12th. 
I'm super excited. It sounds super good. So have She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. And thank goodness this is also an audiobook. And it also hasn't been released yet, so I'm just on the wait list for when it does come out sometime around July 19th. I'm number seven on one copy, but that's not even true. Like, they always say that, but then there's always more than one copy, so I'll probably get it mid-July. Very excited. And I'm also super excited for The Fallen by Ada Hoffman, which is, I'm also on a wait list for when this comes out around July 12th. She, this is the sequel to The Outside, which was a really good book. I really enjoyed that a lot. So, okay, next on my list, What White, what White People Can Do Next by Emma Dabiri. This is an audiobook. It looks like it's super short. This just came out and Oh, the subtitle is From Allyship to Coalition. I actually found this because a Facebook friend was asking for recommendations for what can they read to like learn more about how to be a better ally. And, you know, I gave them a few recommendations, but I was kind of looking around because I didn't feel like I had like the perfect title to like exactly answer their question. And then I found this and it had just come out. I'm like, I need to read this. This looks like it's going to be a really good book both for myself to read and also to be able to recommend um and also I mean you know hey I'm white I really need to learn everything I can about how I can be a good ally and it's short so it seems very doable next I have The Chosen and the Beautiful by Nevo which is an audiobook thank goodness it says it'll be here in about 10 weeks I'm really excited about this one it looks awesome it's supposed to be kind of a retelling of The Great Gatsby. And the cover is beautiful. I mean, I look at this and I just hear Lana Del Rey singing the, if you if you saw The Great Gatsby movie, she, she wrote this, well, I don't know if she wrote it for the movie or they just used it or whatever, but that, that it's, it's a really beautiful song. It's really atmospheric. It's, will you still love me when I'm no longer young and beautiful or something like that. I don't remember. It's so pretty though and I love it. So every time I see this cover, that music starts playing in my head. And so I'm excited to read it and just hear that music in my head all the time. Nevo is the same author of Beat that wrote the two novellas that came out last year, The Empress of Salt and Fortune and When the Tiger Came Down the Mountain. I thought they were really beautifully written, but they didn't like, I think it's just a taste thing. I wasn't like crazy just about the stories, I guess. Um, so I'm really curious to see if this is going to be, you know, the same experience for me or if it'll be different because it's kind of a different world. I, I assume it's a different world. I don't know. But I'm really excited for it. I think it's going to be good. And then I also have The Jasmine Throne by Tasha Suri, which, thank goodness, this is also an audiobook. It'll be here in about four weeks. And it's the first book in the Burning Kingdom series. I haven't read anything by Tasha Suri, but um, I've been hearing really great things about them. And so they've kind of been on my radar and I wanted to read something by them. And this one just came out so perfect. Um, I think Shannon from That So Poe and Angela from Literature Science Alliance have both said that this is really good. So I think I'm going to like this. Um, and then I just added Chilling Effect by Valerie Valdez. And this is also an audiobook. It'll be here in about two weeks. Probably sooner, honestly. Whenever it says two weeks, that means there's one person that has it in front of me, and so whenever they return it, I'll get it. So it could be today. And it was just nominated for the Arthur C. Clarke Award, and I'm particularly excited about this one because it is a Latina author, and I'm always looking for science fiction written by a Latina author. It just seems like that's harder to find. Next on my list is You Look Like a Thing and I Love You by Janelle Shane. This is a nonfiction book that I learned about because of Shannon at That's So Poe. She read it a few months ago and really enjoyed it. Said it's kind of short and really entertaining. And I saw that and thought this will probably work really well for the fantasy bingo card that is on Reddit, I think. I don't know. I'll share a link below. But there's like this whole fantasy bingo card and one of the squares is nonfiction related to science fiction and I didn't have any ideas about what to read for that square so I think I'm gonna read this one it looks really cool I love artificial intelligence or stories about AI I just think it's a fascinating topic and I'm really curious about this topic so I think this will be a really fun book to read it says it'll be here in about 10 weeks I, I guess it's really popular right now <laughs> I don't know 
but yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. And then the last book, I just added this today, The Wolf and the Woodsman by Ava Reed. And this is an audiobook. It says it'll be here in about seven weeks. This looks like it's a re, a dark retelling of Little Red Riding Hood. It just came out, it'll be eligible for awards. It looks like fun. Um, I don't know much more about it than that, but yeah, that's everything I have on hold right now. If you've read any of these and have any thoughts on you know, whether or not you think I will enjoy them, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye.